hello hello everyone welcome back to the channel miss crochet and coffee here and today we have a little bit of an unbagging now let me set the premise for this one do not confuse this company with diamond art club there is a diamond a diamond art house and a diamond art club this is not diamond art club uh, I think they put their, they did their name like that to try to draw in business because of the fact that Diamond Art Club is a popular, successfully popular company. And so they made Diamond Art House. It's like the Walmart of grocery stores, like diamond painting companies. So I did see someone in, had, in, in my group had confused this with Diamond Art Club. Please, for the love of all that is holy, do not confuse this company with Diamond Art Club. With that said, I ordered these two packages at the same time. I did not receive them at the same time. This one is actually coming a month after this one showed up. So let me get you some dates. Okay, so I can't find exact dates, but I ordered these two kits together on the same day in the same order, and that will pop up somewhere over there. Um, I ordered them together, okay? This is from Diamond Art House. I ordered them together sometime before February 28th. Now, this one shipped out first, and then this one shipped out. This one came in March 19th. This one came in April 20th. So a whole month literally has went by since this one got here, and I received this one. So... What do I think? One, I already opened this one. Hold on, I got some beads everywhere. I already opened this one and did inventory. I do like how it came in bags. I didn't realize it was a square. It did come on a foam roller, but the point that took me off. Now, if you're in my group, Crafters Anonymous with Miss Crochet and Coffee and Rachel Ray, you would have noticed I put up a post asking, did someone send me something from Huacan? No one hates me that much, apparently. Thank goodness. But, don't worry, I still got haters, but they don't hate me that much. But, the image I ordered came, one of them came from Huacan. I don't know where this one's from. This one came from Huacan. And it says it, big bold letters right there. Now, this is the image I ordered from Diamond Art House. Even though it's actually not the image I ordered. The image I ordered, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to show it to you because the company went out of business. Um, so they were having their, like, everything is free sale. But if I can find the image, I will have it go up on the side over here. Okay. So I went looking. The image has been taken off the site. Both of the images that I purchased have been taken off the site. I'm not even sure if I have a picture of them. If I do, I will try to put it up. I will try to find a picture if I can. But this was the first one I got, and I paid $24.95 for shipping. So it essentially wasn't really free because the cost of shipping was so high. Now, both these kits, I'm going to guess, are... I'm hoping the other one is not from Hua Can. But I didn't know what this image was, and that is what the image is. Again, I would not have ordered that, so I know that's not something I ordered. And the image essentially goes this way. It's printed this way on the kit. It's printed horizontal instead of vertical. So you get more detail going this way. And it's a Hua Can kit, so I'm not worried about doing it. I just wanted to check out this company because somebody had asked me to check them out. Um, it looks like they're a reseller. It doesn't look like they're an independent company that make their own kits. It looks like they literally go on AliExpress and get like canvases from them. And then sell them on their site for free. Like if a, a, if, if a diamond painting wasn't selling well or something on AliExpress, they're selling it on their site. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I know for a fact that I would never have ordered a, a Hua Can. I am not a Hua Can fan. So the first kit gets a thumbs down for me because I don't do Hua Can. I Hua Can't with Hua Can. So that's the first kit. Now this kit I just got in. So we're going to get into it. And this one is also a square. 
And also, make sure that if you're getting these kits from AliExpress or any China company, that you're washing your hands and not touching your face. Because we do not know where these things have been. So there's the drills. You have your white boat with a funnel, plate of wax, cheapo tweezers, and a white pen with a tin placer on it. And there is my image. Now on the website, I do not believe it tells you the size. This is a 15 by 20. This one is poured glue. So, I was doing this unboxing because I wanted to see what the company was like. But I'm gonna do another video and show you the difference between poured glue and double-sided adhesive. Yeah, so look out for that video. But this is poured glue, and how can you tell? Because it came with a clear cover and the glue doesn't exceed too far past the actual canvas itself. The image does look super cute, but it's going to be super pixelated. Um, I'm not even sure if it measures to size. Honestly, I don't think I really care. I just wanted to try this company out. I don't know. This company doesn't have a name at the top of it. So literally, I paid $25 shipping. Sorry, sorry, let me let me help you get that sarcasm. Shipping $24.95 for a 25 by 20 and a 15 by 20 diamond painting canvas. This company is a sham. I would not recommend this company. I don't care how free their paintings are. For the amount that you're paying for shipping, this kit was not free. Essentially, I paid $12 and change for both these kits. And they're not even the same size. Um, this one is also a square. Uh, I'm really not even wanting to waste my time with inventory, to be honest. Now, I really, really, I saw this image somewhere else, and I was going to get it, but I was like, no, because if I get it in, I'm going to like it from the other company, possibly. Here is what the image is supposed to look like. The image is called Pup. This image has 24 colors. They are square. This isn't a hula can, so let's check the square quality. Now, I'm not sure if all their kits on their side are square or not. I didn't see what what shape it was. I really didn't care just because I like squares and I like rounds. But it doesn't tell you which one you're getting. It doesn't tell you whether or not you're getting squares or you're, if you're getting rounds. So be weary of that. Free, you get what you pay for. Just remember that. That's one big thing in diamond painting that can be said a thousand times and people will still go on and on about quality and all this. You get what you pay for. For $24.95, I got two canvases from two completely different companies. One's poured glue, one's double-sided adhesive. Here is the drill quality. Now, I look for the darker drills because the darker drills are going to hold most of the trash. If there's any, uh, there's... From the looks of it, it doesn't look like there's any trash, which is a good sign. I might actually complete this one. The drill quality looks up. I was, just as I say that, I look in there and I see knobbly bits on a couple of the drills. Now, they, use, they should give you enough to complete it. If not, I'm pretty sure I have enough in my stash. But... Uh, up, 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 up. Here we go. So, let's see, where is it? They do have like little tabs on the drills, on a couple of the drills in that one. It's like a brick red right there. Got some blue. Got some more blue. I'm seeing your typical trash, your typical a bit of knobbly bits. It's not anything I can't work past, and I will work up one of these kits just so you can see what it looks like. Probably the fox, to be honest, because I'm not touching that hua can. I'm telling you, I hua can't. I can't do it. Black looks good. The blue has, like, some purple in it. There's purple next to that. Oh, and there's more drills over here. So you have brown and a pastel blue and whatever color that is, like Laffy Taffy. And then you have, I think this is 3371, so it's like a chocolate brown. But am I right about that? Yep, I'm right about that. All right, so 
Diamond Art House. Why do I say this is a sham? One cost of shipping. There's no way that shipping both of these costs twelve dollars. There's no way. Um, two, because it doesn't tell you what size you're getting, and it doesn't tell you what shape you're getting. You could possibly get a square. You could possibly get a round. You don't even know what size you're getting. So I went from a fifteen by twenty to a twenty five by twenty. So. You don't know what size you're getting. You don't know what shape you're getting. The drill quality is iffy at most because you don't know what company it's coming from. The reason why I say I'm not touching Hua Can, if you're new, Hua Can is still going through Drill Mageddon. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care. Hua Can has the worst drills on the planet when it comes to diamond painting. I don't know about their round drills, but their square drills are awful. And for every one person that says, I've never had a problem with Hua Can. There's about 50 of us that has say, said, get it at your own risk. Because you will get popping drills. And yeah, that their prices seem nice. That's because their canvases are garbage. So no, I will not be touching that Hua Can. Um, and the drill quality was garbage on that Hua Can. Uh, I don't care how nice the baggies are. The drill quality isn't the best. I, I yeah, No, no. Um, if somebody would like that, I'll probably give it to them, but I'm not working on that one. I might work on this little tiny little one here that's not going to have any detail, but you would know when you get to the website, uh, if it, if it doesn't have de if it doesn't give you any details about the image, it's probably a reseller because they probably don't know because they probably don't have a factory with these kits in it. They are probably literally just selling them for another company. So Diamond Art House is a sham of a company, I would not recommend. I would say stay far away. I don't care if they are free. If free 99 is this, I don't want it, okay? And we all know Miss Coffee's favorite word is what? Free 99. Oh, yeah. But in this case, it was not free 99. I paid $25 for two canvases. One of them is I'm not even touching. I'm not doing that canvas. The other one is too small to have any kind of detail to it. So... It's very disappointing when you get these canvases and you're you're expecting, you know, I wasn't expecting much to be honest, but I was expecting something more than this. They can't even get the same size. The it's just it's a hot mess, y'all. It's a hot hot mess. So, if you're thinking about getting canvases from Diamond Art House, I would suggest you do you do you don't. Just don't. Just don't do it, okay? Don't don't do it. Go somewhere else. Spend your money wisely. Go to AliExpress, you'll probably, at least there you can uh, pick out the sizes and stuff at, with this company. No, they're garbage. I wouldn't recommend. They get a they get a zero out of five for Miss Coffee. So with that said, folks, buy at your own risk. But that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and would like to see more random videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and that bell. But before we go, let's check out the drill field. Because I didn't even check it. I was so hot. I didn't even check it. So you got eight and pluses and S's. The S's and the eights will maybe give you problem because of the colors being kind of close together. So the canvas does look clear. A lot of color blocking, a lot of confetti in the actual wolf itself. But the symbols do look clear on the poured glue than they do on the double-sided adhesive. So with that said, folks... I must now bid you adieu, but not before reminding you, like I always try to, to be kind, be courteous, be cool. Bye, guys.